because you know if you're presented with a piece of information i can ask can you extract the science from this and then just put away all the opinion and story to the side and if the quality is there it doesn't matter if the story is wrong we can always build on the science so for example 100 years ago we drew blood uh, lactate levels and so now we know in men and women of whatever demographic we we sampled from if we did a good enough job of characterizing them I can say 100 years ago, this was the lactic acid level in the blood of, you know, a runner. And I can compare it today. Did it change at all? And it doesn't matter that they thought that lactic acid was causing muscle soreness. And now we think, okay, we're a little bit different. We have ways to be able to tease that apart. That doesn't matter. That was the story. Yeah. And it's important to have stories in science so that we can bring the information to life because we're not computers. If there's no emotional connection to the information, we'll forget it. You know, I've absolutely. never actually thought about it like, like that, but that's, that's a really interesting and really good way to think about it, right? Because if your technique is sound, then you are able to later figure out whether or not the results that you had correlate to something else. But if you have a faulty technique, it just makes it hard to do. And it's not necessarily important that the story that is behind what you did is accurate as much as it is that the information is accurate, which is, that's a really, really cool thing to, to, to think about. 